For today's example, we're going to look at how to add Bootstrap alerts to our web page. So let's get started. Let's open our Y Franchise page. The Y Franchise page is the page that we've been building over the course of our last few examples. I'm going to go ahead and add a section to this page. I'm going to add a layout uh, static section. And the next thing I'm going to do is add a content block. So we're going to actually put our alert within a content block. And we'll go ahead and create the content. And before we create the content, what I want to do is come over to the Bootstrap documentation. And here we have um, a series of all the examples of the types of alerts that they have kind of predefined through Bootstrap, which you can simply, um, you know, add the markup or the classes for these uh, in order to use them. I'm going to just grab all the examples and we'll paste them in um, so we can see what they all look like. But in the end, we'll just be working with one particular example. But let's go ahead and just check it out. Um, in order to add these, I'm going to go into the markup view and then we'll just go ahead and paste these right into the markup view. And once I do that, click done and we see that we have all the alerts. The colors change a little bit because again, um, they're going to inherit the style that you have in your own website. So if that conflicts with the styles that are in the default bootstrap, um, classes, then it's going to adjust the, the look a little bit. I'm actually going to be using um, the simple success alert. So I just wanted to give you a feel for what this is going to look like with all of these in here um, and, and what you'll get. So let's go ahead and remove the other ones and we'll keep the success option. And so now we keep the success alert, uh, we come back and here we have it. So it looks okay. I'm going to go ahead and save again. So now we see our alert located in the section that we added. We see that it spans across that section, but gets maintained within the section we placed it in. Um, maybe I don't want somebody who's maybe less technical to come in and try to edit this and modify the markup in any way. We make it a little bit harder for them to actually like adjust the markup. We want to make sure we have that um, you know green background maintained. So let's go ahead and take a look at the editing interface and see how we can kind of pull those classes out of the markup um, in the HTML editing interface and actually place it into the advanced properties of this particular content block. So I'm going to edit the content block and then let's go into the HTML markup. So I don't need the class and the role in the div here. And if we remove it from here, that way people are able to manipulate the text without manipulating the class and role that are applied. So we'll go ahead and hit done. And then I'm going to come into my advanced properties and we can add our class here. I don't need to call the class here. It will insert it for me. So I'm going to get rid of this and then I should be all set. So let's go ahead and save it. And when we save it from here, we don't see any changes yet, but as we save it from here, um, a content author could come in and manipulate the text, um, but they won't be able to manipulate the class and the role that have been applied. So now when I hit save here, they'll see that the text is wrapped in the alert class and role uh, of alert. So if you're interested in turning this into a preset or any of the other alerts into a preset, you can follow this process and then uh, look at the previous video that we did showing you how to create a preset, which is a predefined template for a section of the page versus the whole page. Um, you can go ahead and, and set those up for your content authors um, to reuse um, within their pages of your site. So let's go ahead and recap. Today we learned how to create a simple alert message in a content block using Bootstrap classes. We use the alert success class to wrap our content block text with a color block to help the text stand out more. Alert boxes are often used on information that requires the immediate attention of the end user, such as warnings, errors, or confirmation messages. Bootstrap provides a total of eight different types of alerts, which you can experiment with. In our example, we also showed how to apply the alert class using advanced properties for the content block to help prevent less savvy content authors from accidentally removing the alert class from the markup. We also mentioned another option may be to create a reusable preset for the alert to enable less technical users to add alerts to their own pages. So that's all we have for today. We hope you enjoyed the lesson and we hope to see you next time. Thank you.